1997, I had contacted MRSA, which is a, a strain of staff. I was giving a surfing lesson, middle of August, beautiful day, I had a tiny little scratch, and within an hour and a half, I had this huge red welt, and next thing I knew, I was in the emergency room strapped up with IVs. They said I could have died within eight hours had I not come in. So that was the beginning of something that kind of clicked in my mind. And I was asked to speak before city council. At the end of my speech, I said, what good is speech if we can't enjoy the ocean? And the next day, that tagline was on the front page of all the local papers. That was really the beginning of my environmental career. I mean, from my own perspective, I've been guilty of using tons of water bottles you know, because of convenience. A lot of our pollution problems, I think, stem because of convenience. It's easy to grab a bottle of water, drink it. However, when you come out here and you see the effect of using those plastics, it changes your way of thinking. When it comes to our environment, like anything, people like to point fingers. I think pointing fingers maybe gets you away from the actual topic, the cost, the concern, what it is that's happening. I, I think that Perhaps better than pointing the finger outward, we should all begin pointing the finger inward and looking at ourselves to find better solutions and compromises to the way we're living our lives. We're aware of a lot of problems going on within our, in, our environment, you know, urban runoff, overdevelopment, plastic. You know, where do we go from here? How, how much is too much?